There we go. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to start off tonight. So, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. We're really excited to share the Thieves 102 class with you. Um, my name is Brittany Thoen, and I've been with Young Living for seven years um, this July. So, um, an amazing, uh, life changing, and we love sharing oily goodness with you. Um, tonight, I hope that you leave this class with a completely different perspective about how to clean your home and why it's critical to kick the poison to the curb. Um, this class will center around Young Living's Thieves line. So let's take a look at what Young Living looks like. This is what Thieves is all about. mom of four boys who happen to have the same birthday, quadruplets, they're nine years old, and my husband and I have been married for 12 years and live here in Brownsburg, Indiana. So having four boys cleaning up is just a constant. You always have something to pick up to clean out some sort of disaster that needs your attention. Before Thieves, all the cleaning was on me. When we switched over to Thieves, that was like one of my favorite things because I was like, oh my goodness, my boys can clean the toilets. This is awesome. Like they can start cleaning up their own messes. They've been using it ever since, ever since we made the switch. They kind of have their own chores and routines and do their own bathrooms and help with laundry. And doing dishes is a breeze now that everybody pitches in. Thieves is really gentle. I don't have to worry about it bothering my skin or wearing gloves or something to protect my skin. It's not a harsh smell or a aroma to it. So we're having another boy to add to our family. I feel really good about bringing a newborn into a home that has safe products and has things that they can be around right away. I don't think we could live without thieves. I know I couldn't. So, um, Mom, Krista, and I, my mom is Coralie, <laughs> um, we're going to share a quick story, a uh, thief story with you. So mine is going to be, um, I had wrist surgery about four years ago, and um, when I got my stitches out, I noticed that there was a red bump. Um, so I added thieves to it a couple days and then noticed that there was a black dot and I thought, well, that's weird. So then I kept adding thieves to it, um, just in case there was, um, an infection or yuck or whatever. Um, and then noticed, um, a couple days more adding thieves. I had done it for about a week that something was sticking out. So I grabbed the tweezers and pulled a little bit and out came a stitch. So I just thought that was cool that here I thought I was getting rid of, well, I was getting rid of some yuck, but <laughs> um, wasn't the kind of yuck I thought it was. So we also used that for splinters. Krista? So um, when uh, at the time that we started using Young Living, um, shortly after that, I think, was when they created the laundry soap. 
And um, before I got the Young Living Laundry Soap, uh, we would always buy like the um, free and clear um, laundry detergents in the store for very sensitive skin because we have sensitive skin and um, would still sometimes have lots of rashes on our skin. Um, I remember our oldest, um, the nurse from school sent home some notes a few times asking us to go and get him checked by the doctor's office because he had broken skin areas on his uh, stomach where he would scratch it because it was itchy so much. Um, and so after, um, after I learned about like how unhealthy a lot of store-bought detergents are, I started making my own and that seemed to help. But then after I started using the Thieves laundry detergent, our skin issues pretty much went away. Um, so we don't have any more rashes or things like that now, which is awesome. <laughs> so must have been caused by our laundry detergent, but Thieves saved the day. So my story has to do with um, my profession as a nurse. I um, am in the hospital and obviously around a lot of sick people. And one of my favorite things to do is to um, use Thieves every day, the Vi Thieves Vitality. I put like a drop or two in my coffee every morning and I have not thank the Lord, gotten the flu for the past three years that I've worked in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I say it's because I drink thieves in my coffee every day. So, but sometimes I put it in my tea too. I like it equally as well in my tea, but I do like it in my coffee. So just a little tip, vitality. Okay. Now, Cancer is the second most common cause of death in the U.S. This is exceeded only by heart disease. According to the cancer.org site, 609,000 Americans will die from cancer this year. The American Cancer Society says only 5% of these cases are from gene defects. That means 90 Sorry, lost you for a minute there. 90 to 95% are ca under caused under our control. Caused by weight excess, tobacco, exposure to toxic chemicals. It's what we're allowing into our homes and into our bodies. So the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health studied almost 3,000 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 toxic ingredients, some of which cause biological mutations, reproductive problems, and or cancerous tumors, but are allowed in the United States, even though they're banned in other countries. To better protect your family, let me encourage you to begin with making small changes in your home that will give you a big impact. First, start with your laundry soap, dishwasher soap, cleaning supplies, candles, and plug-ins. I know this may be hard to hear, but you need to toss those candles out. The plug-ins out. If they're in your home, scented candles are filled with dangerous petrochemicals. Dr. Andrew Sled, who specializes in environmental toxicology, says burning a candle in your home for two hours is the same as smoking a pack of cigarettes. 40% of candles are made with wicks containing lead, which is not safe to breathe in. By making a swap to a diffuser with lemon or thieves oil, you're supporting your immune system instead of harming it. 
Okay. Let's talk about exposure. Just 26 seconds after exposure, chemicals can be found in measurable amounts in the human body. That blows my mind. The average woman applies 300 chemicals a day to her body. The top 10 most dangerous chemicals in your home are air fresheners, like plug-ins or candles, chemical cleaning supplies for your counters, your floors, your toilet, drain, oven cleaners, furniture polish, dishwasher soap, dish soap. What do you think is the number one poison in the family's home? I didn't know what it was, but it's actually laundry soap, fabric softener, and dryer sheets. You're poisoned three ways by those products. As you wash your clothes, it fills your clothes with the chemicals. Then you wear your clothes all day long and have toxic exposure to your skin because whatever you put on your skin goes directly in your body. And then your clothes outgas all night long in your closet as you're sleeping and you breathe the chemicals in. And if you only make one swap to Thieves Laundry Soap, then I'll feel like you got something great out of this class. Other dangers that lurk in your home are hairspray, gel, shampoo, deodorant, especially deodorant because it has aluminum, which is one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So what happens when your body is chemically overloaded? My glasses bug me because they have that shine on them. So most of us feel lack of energy and ability to focus, have trouble sleeping, have allergies, digestive sensitivities, our immune system becomes weakened. We have chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, fibromyalgia, skin issues, hormone imbalances, stress, anxiety, or fear. So if you face any of these issues, it's time to kick the chemicals to the curb. You have the ability to control what comes in your home. You're the boss of you and your home and what you allow in. You can cross some things off your list by getting rid of, getting rid of as many toxic chemicals as you can in your home. My journey on that started with Young Living about seven years ago. I'm not going to tell you that Young Living will change your health, but I am going to tell you that one of your triggers is chemicals, possibly in something that you're putting on your skin, breathing in or consuming into your body. And it's time to become conscious of what those things are and get them out of your home. Now you might be feeling a little overwhelmed by all this chemical talk, um, but don't worry because we have a solution for you. My favorite place to start is the Seed to Seal Promise on our over 600 products at Young Living. So you may be saying, well, what is Seed to Seal? There's a picture of the founder, Gary D. Young, and um, one of the distillers behind him. Um, it is a standard of purity for Young Living. It means no chemical overload. You can trust the name Young Living. It is an essential oil company that is based out of Utah. The one thing that sets Young Living apart from all oil, other oils, companies is our seed to seal promise. So let me tell you what that means. At Young Living, we do not tinker with or manipulate our oils to make them smell better. We do not mix species of the same oil. We do not spray weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or use genetically modified seed. We spend $12,000 per acre to hand weed lavender 
instead of the industry standard of $60 an acre for the same plant. The industry standard is $60 per acre because they spray pesticides. It's a lot cheaper than hand weeding. We do not distill with solvents like hexane, like some producers do. Young living soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, or guy and in our poison, in any poison or any other poison because our fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. We harvest at the exact time of day that Young Living's research team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. For instance, you get, yet, well, people pronounce it different, but I've heard it that the actual pronunciation is elong elong, and that is grown in um, Ecuador, and it is beautiful. Um, flowering plant. I just love the smell. Um, it's very good for women. It helps uh, us feel better. But um, it has to be harvested in the morning, picked in the morning, and it's always hand-picked, and they know when because the plant actually gets red. Krista may have seen something about, you probably saw Elong Elong when you were um, at that um, farm, but it is just amazing. Baby, you you didn't go. I've got you confused with Megan, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Chris is like, I wished I got to go to that farm. <laughs> goals. <laughs> goals, yeah. Hashtag goals. Um, but they know, they have done so much research on these plants. They know exactly when to harvest the plant to get the best oil um, in the most, you know, the most amount, um, the peak time. And they also know when the peak time is because they have kept an extensive library of oils. It is the oldest and the largest. It has been compiled for over 30 years of research at farms on six different continents. We grow our plants where they grow best and produce the most effective oil for the body. Our farms are all over the world. And the best part about it is you can visit it as, you don't even have to be a member. Anyone can visit any of the farms because we're transparent at any given time, you can go. I've been to Mona um, Lavender twice and then um, St. Mary's in Idaho once. And St. Mary's is actually the very first farm that um, Gary bought. So we test eight times at the farm. Then again, at Spanish Fork, Utah. Then again, after it's bottled, we do 24 tests per batch to make sure that the oils meet our standards. Then we do third party testing with two accredited, um, respected independent labs Young Living Oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. Most of the scientists were hand trained by the founder, Gary Young himself. So, Young Living, what is Young Living? It is the global leader in essential oils with nearly $2 billion in sales annually and that means that those who use the oils keep returning because they work. There are 3,000 global employees, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent partner labs, and 6 million global leaders or members with lots of leaders. Young Living is about integrity, it's hard work, and high standards. That is seed to seal. And that is why Young Living is different. We are more than 25 years old, which is really unique for a global essential oils company. 
All right. So what are essential oils? They are the most powerful part of a plant. They repair and restore the plant when it is attacked or injured. You can use oils in your home to replace harsh chemicals. That's why you would want them in your home. And it's also because our oils have no yuck. They are just the distilled or cold pressed plant. Oils have millions of uses, like supporting every system in your body. And they're also used to replace harsh cleaning supplies. Thieves Cleaner is literally all I use to wipe down my bathroom, my stove, my kitchen. I even mop my floors with it. I do windows when I clean windows. Um, I use it to clean everything. And it is just made of plants and essential oils. So you can use oils to replace your personal care products too. Young Living has an entire line of shampoos, soaps, conditioners, eye creams, face washes, and even baby products that are completely harsh chemical free. If you use oil infused supplements, you get the benefit of the supplement along with the power of the oil because it actually helps your body to absorb the minerals, the um, herbal ingredients that are in the supplements better than if it doesn't have the oil, essential oil in it. So when it comes to oils, it matters where the oils are sourced. So there are four types of oils on the market. Grade A is authentic. Grade B is manipulated. Grade C is perfume. And grade D is flat out synthetic. Nothing natural about it. So it is important that you use only grade A oil because of the concentration in the bottle. Um, if you don't use a grade A oil, it's like you're eating an entire apple tree, an entire apple tree sprayed with pesticide instead of just one apple sprayed with pesticide. It makes absolutely no sense for you to go the extra mile to get away from toxic chemicals and then use an oil that is laden with toxic chemicals. So we're gonna take a look at a powerful video that shows the effects of spraying crops with pesticides and chemical fertilizers. This study was done out of Sweden and it's based on food. Essential oils are much more concentrated. When it takes 60,000 rose blossoms to make an ounce of rose oil, the concentration of the pesticides sprayed on those plants is much, much higher. So we're gonna look at what one month of just clean eating and getting rid of chemicals that way can do to the level of chemical exposure in the human body. Most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. It costs more than normal food. It becomes a big difference when you have many families. But for the next two weeks, the Palmbergs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members, and it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. We hit the front for all insect medicine, swamp medicine, and straw for cutting medicine. Vi äter insiktsmedel. Ja, äckligt. Så, everything in the kitchen is replaced and they begin eating only organic. Then, another round of samples are taken and now, almost all the pesticides have disappeared. Vi vet ju väldigt lite om långtidseffekter av att äta mat som har besprutats. Eh, speciellt med tanke på att studier har visat att kemikalier i kombination kan vara långt farligare än kemikalier var och en för sig. När man får höra det här så tänker man framförallt på barnen. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn. Sorry. 
Okay. So if you um, usually save 30 cents to buy grapes at the grocery store, or when you buy grapes at the grocery store by going for the grapes that have been sprayed instead of the organic ones, I hope I have just rocked your world. It does matter what you buy. And that is why seed to seal is so powerful. It's not always about getting the cheapest version of a product that you possibly can. It's about the protection of your family. So now that you understand purity, let's switch gears and talk all things thieves. We're gonna do a little history class, a little math class, a little science class, and connect you with ways to try thieves um, for yourself. And I know that once you wipe down your kitchen, you'll fall in love. So what is thieves? Still on that slide, sorry. <laughs> Thieves essential oil is a blend of five powerful Young Living oils. It's spicy, it's hot, uplifting, and energizing. And it's one of the most famous of all the oils in Young Living. Um, it's one of the oils that put this company on the map in the early 1990s. Thieves oil is in Thieves household cleaner, um, and it's in all of the Thieves products that Young Living makes. So to kick this section of the class off, Let's take a look at a one minute powerful video of what Thieves Cleaner can do. So this video is gonna show us a pan that had been through 11 dishwasher loads and it had even had a full scrubbing with a steel wool pad, but still was not clean. Yet the grime could not stand up to Thieves. So let's let it speak for itself. We're just going to scrub it and show you that it's, it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple, it's one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can, it's not going anywhere, right? So we grabbed some baking soda. It's pure baking soda and thieves. Now we're not going to use all of this thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in and yep, just like a little sprinkle, we'll put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. See if we can make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. So if it's something that I just cook, I put a couple of drops of lemon and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it up, this is my go-to. Rachel put even more, and she wants a nice, good paste. Now we're going to take it over to the sink. Just do a good rinse on it. And so now I'm following the pan. And let's see, after multiple dishwasher loads and soap and all the other good things, what this really nasty, non scrubbable pan looks like. Are you in five, four, three, two, bam, he's cleaner to the rescue. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so we're going to take uh, some more looks at the power of thieves. So we're going to show you um, how it cleans. So um, it's just as powerful to clean with plants over harmful chemicals. Look at these before and after photos um, on the power of thieves. So this is a sink cleaned with diluted thieves cleaner. That's a cap full of thieves household cleaner in a bottle of spray water. The sink was cleaned with a sponge and a few sprays of the thieves cleaner in, in under two minutes. The cleaner even got rid of the lime buildup under the sink knobs with no hard scrubbing. And if you have hard water with lots of lime in it like me, you know how big of a deal that is. <laughs> so this is um, the hard water stains in a sink and it was scrubbed with diluted thieves cleaner in a spray bottle again. This cleanup only took a few minutes and no harsh chemicals were used. How awesome is that? 
seat right there is the thieves cleaner bottle. And in these photos, um, the first photo shows hard water stains in a tub that could not be removed with a half a dozen harsh chemical cleaners. But the second photo shows that the thieves cleaner came to the rescue again. In this instance, the owner made a paste with these cleaner and baking soda and let it sit on the tub walls for 15 minutes and then it came right up. The third photo shows coffee grounds burnt to the bottom of a stainless steel pan. They were removed with undiluted thieves cleaner, so they poured it just straight from the bottle and then the pan looked like new. What is thieves cleaner used for? Here's some ideas. 12 to be exact. Put it undiluted into a roller bottle and make a stain stick for your clothes with no chemicals. This is also great to throw in your purse, diaper bag, travel with you when you can't have something to use right away. Pour it into or pour it onto spots on your carpet undiluted to get rid of stains. You can also um, use it with baking soda and scrub it um, on carpet stains. Let it sit in pots and pans if burnt food stuck to the bottom of them like we saw Sarah's. Um, put a cap of it in a spray bottle, use it as a surface cleaner in the kitchen, bathrooms. So, um, I also like to use it in my refrigerator. Um, keep something, some of it out in your car, in a glass container out in your car to keep your car and on the go if anybody gets sick. Like I've never had that happen before, so I'm kind of speaking from experience. You always want to keep a little puke bucket, all that in your car, for real. Um, you can, after washing clothes with thieves soap, add four or five drops to a washcloth, a dry washcloth, and throw it in your dryer to make your clothes smell fresh. Put a drop of thieves on anything sticky or any sticky residue that you don't want and wipe it off. You can also do that with lemon. Clean your wash dishwasher by running it on an empty cycle with thieves cleaner. Um, you can also do that for musty smelling uh, laundry uh, machines. Um, add a drop to your cardboard, the insert of your cardboard, paper towels, or toilet paper, and have a fresh smelling bathroom. Thieves is some of the best glass cleaner I've ever seen. Sprayed on the window, takes all the gunk off. It's also great for detailing cars, like I said, and cleaning the dashboard off. Um, there's no yuck and thieves, just the plant, plants and plant-based materials, so you can literally replace everything with one bottle. What about thieves oil? It comes in the thieves starter kit, so you're all set. Why would you want that? Well, it's a lot more concentrated than the Thieves Cleaner. The Thieves Oil doesn't contain the other plant ingredients that allow the oil to be evenly spread through the cleaning solution. So if you try to make Thieves Household Cleaner yourself, it won't work. It'll just be oil and water because they don't mix. So here are five uses for the Thieves Essential Oil. Put some on the bottom of your feet and spine for immune support. You can dilute it with coconut or olive oil, especially if you're putting it on sensitive skin or littles. Um, or you can also use Thieves V6 or Young Living's V6. I love Young Living's V6 uh, carrier oil. Uh, if you need something internally, you can take Thieves Vitality. Um, for the same reason, one of my favorite recipes, which I tend to go a little overboard. <laughs> I'm like a, 
one punch kind of gal. <laughs> so 10 drops of thieves, eight drops of oregano vitality, and then I usually do two to three drops of frank vitality in a veggie capsule. If you need some carrier oil, you can add that in there. Um, it's great for sinus support, immune support, all the support. Um, whenever you're feeling down, this is one of my favorite go-tos. Another little tip is if you have inner defense and you can't get them in any of your littles or you can't take it for whatever reason, pop that capsule open and put it on the bottom of your feet or spine with a carrier oil. Hmm. Add a drop of these vitality to your toothpaste to make your teeth feel refreshed or your mouth. I don't know that your teeth feel really, but you know. Put in the diffuser for your favorite fall blend, cinnamon and clove. Can't go wrong. Clove also has a numbing effect to, to it, and it's great for oral support if you're needing that extra support in your mouth. I love history. So let me tell you a little bit about the thieves oil, the history of thieves oil, okay? Let's talk about what's in it. The thieves blend contains clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cinnamon. It's based on the legend of the four thieves of Marseille, France, dating from the time of the outbreak of the bubonic plague. Century after century from 13, the 1300s all the way through the 1700s, outbreaks claimed up to half of the population of Europe. And there were especially nasty outbreaks between 1593 and 1608. About that time, an aromatic legend developed around a brew called Marseille vinegar or Four Thieves vinegar. As history has it, there was a group of allegedly confessed that they used it for protection against the plague while they were robbing the bodies of the dead people. There are a variety of recipes out there, but they included rosemary tops, dried sage flowers, fresh rue, camphor, garlic cloves, and vinegar, which they would then steep for seven to eight days. Kind of sounds like kombucha to me, but you know, so the vinegar was noted in a number of famous medical books published later on, including Pharmacologia from 1825. So this page that you're looking at is actually um, from an, a snippet from the original book that's almost over 200 years old. And right there you see is the uh, formula, or I guess you'd call it a formula, recipe for thieves. So as the legend goes, the thieves, the thieves, like as the four thieves, covered themselves in the herbs and essential oil mixture before robbing the bodies of the dead. They were, there were a mix of spicers, perfumers, and embalmers that had carried this recipe and passed it down to generation to generation for um, many, you know, for a long time. So the magistrate finally caught up with the thieves and they were gonna be beheaded, but they offered them clemency or amnesty if they would explain how they used the thieves mix and how they didn't die. So again, this is a picture of D. Gary Young, who is the founder of Young Living. He is most responsible for the story reaching the legendary status that it has today. He created the Thieves Blend in 1994 for immune support as a result of studies that he was doing at the time at the Warwick University in London. Gary said, this is a quote from him, I must tell you that I have read 17 different versions of the thieves story. 
Some claim that there were four thieves and some claim that there were as many as 40. Most of the legends take place in the 15th century, but some put the date in the 18th century. The formula varied from one story to the next, but through my research, I was led to four key botanicals that were mentioned again and again. Clove, cinnamon, rosemary, and lemon. Four of the same ingredients that make up the thieves oil blend today. So, I hope you didn't think you'd get through our thieves school day without a little science class. <laughs> so, let's talk germs. If you want to get fancy, you can call this microbiology, but that's what microbiology is. It's talking about germs. So, um, if you are not near a water source to wash your hands, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC for short, they recommend the use of a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol to reduce the spread of pathogens, also known as germs. Thieves hand sanitizer fits this bill. It doesn't come with harsh ingredients and you know that you're picking the best for your family. Thieves hand sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of all germs and bacteria. So many have asked um, how Young Living hand sanitizer is different if it also contains alcohol. Well, not all alcohol is made the same way. Uh, many uh, hand sanitizers uh, contain harsher forms of alcohol that are very drying for your skin and are just plain not healthy for you. Because remember, anything you put on your skin gets absorbed by your body. So our hand sanitizer and our um, alcohol it's actually grain alcohol, um, which is the kind of alcohol people drink sometimes, but it's denatured using peppermint oil. And that makes all the difference. So you get the power of the alcohol with ingredients that you want to see. But don't drink our hand sanitizer, okay? <laughs> so another people that que or another question that people ask um, is can thieves cleaner really be used as a strong enough surface cleaner so we're going to put that to the test um, the swabs you see on the table in this video um, these are the same types of tests that are used in the food industry to test for unclean counters near food prep areas like when they're doing um, like say health health inspections um, so they use these swabs to test for how clean a surface is. So we're gonna take a closer peek at those. Um, this is Young Living Leader, Rachel Cipriano, and she made up a spray bottle of Thieves Cleaner. It's one cap full of the cleaner um, to a spray bottle of water. And then she's gonna use some uh, raw chicken and rub it on her counter to see if Thieves can get it clean. So let's take a look. the surface and then when I put it into a little solution it will turn a color. Green means clean and then the darker purple it gets the dirtier it is. So I snap it into the solution and there we go. And then shake it for five seconds and so it's contaminated, it's not a clean surface. There is really chicken juice all over. And then I get it off with my chicken juice up and spray it down with our thieves. Cleaning with plants is just as effective as the chemical cleaners that you 
find in the grocery store. Okay, so we've wiped it down with the cleaner. Now we have the second test swab. Oh wait, you're supposed to put water on it. It's not supposed to be dry. So, um, because that's a dry surface now, I'm just letting it sit with water. And now I can stop it. Okay. And again, just sliding it into the solution. So the green means clean, and you can see that was the purple when it was contaminated, and then the green after. So, pretty impressive, huh? Mm hmm All right. So the next question, um, once people see how effective these cleaner is, they want to know, are the ingredients inside really safe? So let's take a closer look. Um, and then I want you to grab the cleaner that's under your cabinet right now and look at the same label. Um, if there's an ingredient that you don't know, um, type that ingredient in Google and add the words dangers of. So your ingredient dangers of and search and start to look at what is in your home, what you're breathing in or slathering on your skin. Know your home and then protect your home. So as you look over these ingredients, um, the ones that are not just plain, you know, ordinary words like water, clove oil, <laughs> um, there's a description beside of those and you can see that they are plant derived ingredients. Um, plant derived from sugar, plant derived from coconut oil, um, made from plant material, and the one at the bottom derived from coconut oil. So that's all the ingredients that are in Thieves Cleaner. Um, so yep, it's totally safe. And I will say, um, I have accidentally ingested it <laughs> once too. Um, I told you I used to make my own laundry detergent and I used to make my own dishwasher detergent too before Thieves um, dishwasher detergent was um, put out there. And um, the recipe that I used used Thieves cleaner. And one day I was mixing up my um, dishwasher detergent and I had been baking a lot that day. That's why I needed more dishwasher detergent was to wash all the dishes. And so I had been in a habit of, you know, mixing things and licking the spoon. Well, I mixed up <laughs> my dishwasher detergent and before I even thought about it, licked the spoon and I did not die. Okay. <laughs> it did not taste good, <laughs> but it did not hurt me at all. So I can tell you, um, as someone with kids um, and even like with, um, I remember when my um, nephew especially was younger and when um, they came to visit, I didn't have to go through my house and put up everything, you know, out of his reach because all I had was these cleaner. Um, so that is a great, great thing to have that peace of mind. So um, it doesn't matter how clean it is if you can't afford to use it, right? Thieves is so affordable, okay? Let's break it down. Uh, a quick math lesson here. So we've already covered history and science. All right. You can hang in there for this full school day. So I am not terribly quick on my feet uh, when it comes to calculating anything in my head, including the cost of products at the grocery store. But let me tell you that Thieves is a no brainer. Um, it is significantly cleaner than green cleaners, green washed cleaners in the store, the ones who say that they're you know, healthier. Most of them really aren't. Um, it's, and it's even cheaper than chemical cleaners. How's that, you might ask? Well, one of the top organic brands in the stores um, is 27 cents an ounce. The used cleaner, though, comes in for the win at only five cents an ounce. So with one bottle um, and you get two bottles in the Thieves Premium Starter Kit or in the Thieves Essential Rewards Kit. Um, with one bottle of Thieves Cleaner, you can make 20 to 25 diluted spray bottles. So can you get um, 25 spray bottles of cleaner for only $22? Nope, you can't even get that at Dollar Tree. You simply add one capful of the concentrated Thieves Cleaner to a spray bottle of water and you're off and running. That's it. It's the cheapest green cleaner out there and it works amazingly. So this one simple swap will totally change how you clean 
then it will help you to toss out most of the harsh chemicals that are under your kitchen sink. Easy peasy. Well, Young Living doesn't just have a thief starter kit. We also have a thief line. So we have a cleaning kit. Amazing. If you haven't looked it up, look it up. We have laundry detergent, barfs, bar soap, one of my favorites. Their cough drops, another favorite. Dental floss, dish soap, dishwasher powder. The mints are really yummy. Fruit and veggie wash, and even thieves wipes. It's simple, it requires no prep, and it's easy to swap. So if you're overwhelmed or overloaded by the idea of oiling, Thieves is a brilliant place to start because even though oils were my gateway, they don't have to be yours. You can start with Thieves. They're like fast food of natural health. You apply and you carry on. So there's no tincture. No fermenting, no growing weird things in jars on your counter. And those of you who've done kombucha know what I'm talking about. All the hard work's done for you, Young Living distilleries and out in the fields. It goes from Young Living's farm to our home. In a simple order, you can knock out most of your toxic chemicals in your home with Thieves. The Thieves Cleaner, and it's not going to break your bank. I think it's pretty amazing how long it lasts. Um, even in our house, we have 10 people in our house and we use it all the time. I think I have at least four or five spray bottles of Thieves Cleaner all over the house. And um, the last time we needed more, my 17 year old son mixed it up himself. I was amazed. I thought they can be taught. Simple. Everybody can do it. So, you're protecting your family for more than a dozen different cleaning solutions with just one bottle. The Thieves Laundry Soap is another easy swap. You can even get two for the price of one if you, um, oh, Krista, hack it. Yeah. Dilute it and hack it. And if you want to know how to do that, I can show you later. <laughs> so if you don't have a starter kit yet, I recommend the Thieves Premium Starter Kit. They just changed the pricing and it's $125. You can't beat it. Comes with everything that we discussed earlier. And as you do a revamp of your cleaning supply cabinet and a little bit of your bathroom, you should get this kit. Let's take a look. Thieves will revolutionize, good grief, how you clean your home. It's been a game changer for us, um, and I recommend that you start with a premium starter kit. It's the only thing, well, all starter kits are the only things that are half off. So when you order, you get the 24% per dis discount per for life, good grief, let me start that over. When you order, you get the 24% discount for life. Any oil or any Young Living product you get from here on out, 24% off. No, year, no yearly membership, no fees, get your kit and enjoy it. 15 ml of Thieves. It's our big bottle, it's great. Um, essential oil, that is. The Thieves Aroma Bright toothpaste, two hand sanitizers, two of the hand soaps, mouthwash, and the two of the cleaners. If you're already a Young Living member, the most affordable ways for you to keep Thieves in your home is the Thieves ER bundle. This is one of my favorite ways to get our Thieves cleaning line. Um, this is, you're already getting your wholesale member discount. And then if you're on ER, 
you get either 10, 20, or 25% back. Um, so then it's an additional because it's the ER bundle. So then you, there's extra savings. It's $205 worth of Thieves line for $118. You should do it. I'm up. So I'm going to talk to you about essential rewards. Essential rewards is one of my very favorite things. I have honestly been on essential rewards for, um, well, at least four years because I get 25% back every month. So that means if I spend $100, I get $25 back in points. So um, if affordability is an issue, consider this. So when you get your Thieves Starter Kit, let's say if you weren't already a member, you get that 24% off for life. That's your membership, your wholesale membership. That isn't like Sam's or Costco where you have to pay every year the 55 or $60. That is for life, one time. You just have to spend $50 in product a, a year, in one year, and um, then you keep your membership active. If you go inactive, it's real easy to reactivate. Just call and say, hey, I want to reactivate my account and spend $50 and boom, you're a member. The only difference is you're actually getting something for your $50. When I go to Costco, they're not giving me anything. I'm paying them. So when you sign up for Essential Rewards, which ships Young Living products right to your home that you pick every month, on the date that you choose, and you can cho you can change that date every month too, and know that you get in there every month and pick what you want. You don't just have to take the same thing every month. Sometimes people get confused about that. Um, you can cancel at any time. There's no fee. You can um, just the only thing is it's a perk. You get a house full of pure toxin-free cleaning supplies and a healthier you. And this is what I like to tell people. It is a great way to do um, transfer buying. You're buying bath soap, um, shampoo, conditioner, face wash, face moisturizer, cleaning products, um, every laundry soap, dish soap. You're buying all that stuff anyway. You just buy it and have it sent to your home and you don't have to worry about the stuff that's in them. So let's talk a little bit about the products. In the essential reward kit, you're going to get two bottles of the Thieves Cleaner. So I brought some of my stuff. Not one, but two bottles. Here's a little quick cap. And Brittany already showed this. So you put this in a like a 10 ml um, roller bottle, pop a lid on it, and use it for a uh, stain stick. So it's great for travel or anytime you um, need a spot treatment on something. And I absolutely love the Thieves Hand Soap. You get um, two of these. So one for your kitchen and one for your bathroom in the Thieves Starter Kit if you're not already a member. One of the things that I love about this soap is that it foams and it goes a little bit, goes a long way. They sell like a 32 ounce um, refill bottle. And I usually refill it a third and then put two thirds water. So you, I mean, it lasts forever. One bottle goes a long way. And then you can just are gone by the 32 ounce refill and make your own. You get a couple of these hand purifiers. Um, these are my absolute favorite because, you know, like I said, I'm a nurse and the hand sanitizer at work absolutely dries my hands out. It makes my nails brittly and crack, and this does not. So I do not use other hand sanitizers. I 
only ever use this. Um, but one of my favorite places is to keep it in the door of my, my car for after I'm, if I'm pumping gas or after I go shopping. Um, and I always have it on hand if I just want my hands to feel clean. You can also pop one in your kids' backpacks. Now's a great time and it's small enough to have it, you know, in the little hiding places in your cars. And these toothpaste, oh my goodness. So the kit comes with the Aroma Bright. I have the, um, this one they're discontinuing. It's the um, Dentrum Plus and then the Whitening. The Whitening is my absolute favorite. This is on our um, Essential Rewards every month. Uh, and I absolutely, now I've got my kids over on it, although my kids are adults. And just the other day, Damaris said, you know, I kind of like that toothpaste now. But in the beginning, she was like, this isn't the kind of toothpaste I'm used to. And these mouthwash. So I'll tell you a little hack about this. This is strong. It really is strong. So I have, um, I always have my empty bottle and then I pour half my whole bottle into my empty bottle and then fill it with distilled water because I just like cutting it in half. So just some ways that you can um, make things go a little bit further. Um, it really is intense. It has cinnamon vitality and some, or clove vitality in it. And, um, but the thing is that mouthwash is free of um, alcohol, synthetic dyes, and all artificial flavors, making it a great choice for your kids. You don't have to worry if you're well, if your kid would accidentally drink a little bit, because sometimes kids do that, they're not going to die. Might take a breath away. <laughs> so, but I don't have my thieves spray, but I want to tell you, I, I mean, I have some. I just forgot to bring it in here with me. I absolutely love this hand spray. It's one of my very, very favorite products. I carry it anytime I travel. I love it on a plane especially. Actually, you put down that, um, you know, the tray and spray the tray and spray the arms and spray the seat before I sit down. So, um, and I'm not going to lie, I've got one and I use it for things I probably shouldn't tell you I use it for. Cause, <laughs> but sometimes if I get a little scratchy, I might, I have been known to do that too. So, um, but it is my product. So, anyhow. What else do we have? Oh, let's not forget. I'll Our take power. over from here. That's oh, okay. you sorry. That's okay. No, you're fine. Um, so the next or the last thing that you get in the Thieves uh, starter kit and in the Central Rewards kit is a large bottle of Thieves, a big 15 ml Thieves essential oil. So we just talked earlier about all the ways that this is amazing and that you can use it. So if something in this class um, convicted you. Um, I know that you want to go home. Um, go home. You are home. Sorry. <laughs> but you want to try this. And I know that you care about your friends and your family too. And you care about what they're using in their home. Because once you, you know, once you learn something, you can't unlearn it. You can try to ignore it, but that truth is always there. And so if you're convicted um, and you know now better um, than you did, it's our it's really our obligation um, to share this with those that we love. You know, we don't have to force it on them, but to tell them about it. So um, there are two ways that you can do that. Um, one is to share this video with them after we get it uploaded. I'll have the link in the event page and you can tag your friends to that or you can send them the link um, so that they can find out this information too. Um, another way that you can do that is by um, hopping in on our class that we're going to do next Thursday, one week from today, and it's called the Side Hustle in a Box. And we're going to talk through how you can share with your friends and even get your kit for free or get your monthly essential rewards order for free by helping your friends and your family to make better choices too. So our goal is that your order never comes out of your family budget. Um, so if you want to learn more about this uh, before next Thursday, just talk to one of us. We'll be happy to fill you in. So where do you start with all this? Start small. 
start slow and start with what convicts you most, okay? Um, with your food, simply start by reading the ingredients. Um, if you can't pronounce it, really think twice about eating it. Um, the same thing goes with your home. Learn to slowly integrate oils into your home with small, simple steps. Take it one month at a time. Um, start going through some of the cleaners in your home. You don't have to gut your entire house in one night, okay? Um, don't feel like you can't go to sleep tonight before getting rid of everything harsh. But um, maybe tomorrow, um, focus first on like your surface cleaners um, and maybe swap it out with these cleaner. Start there um, and then slowly, you know, work through the next room in your house. You know, it might be your laundry room. It might be your bathroom, it might be your kitchen. Um, but slowly, you know, just start to go through those things that convict you the most. Um, each of us started this journey ourselves with a Young Living Starter Kit, and we've never looked back. It's been seriously the best decision. Um, it's been the best decision I've made as a mom, you know, um, to have this in our home. So every single oil that you use is a chemical that you're not using. So it's where I began. It's where I recommend that you start too. So um, if you're not yet a member, uh, you may be wondering, well, how do I order? So you simply go to youngliving.com, click on become a member, and then use the number of the person who told you about oils, um, who, the person who shared this video with you, use their member number as enroller and sponsor. And then you follow the steps from there. It's really that simple. And then we'll say, welcome to the world of oils. So let's um, recap what you need to do. So if you haven't yet, snag your thieves kit um, or get on Essential Rewards. Uh, contact us and get plugged in to the next classes um, and the other classes of the core four. That's um, oils, Ningxia, and CBD. So again, just to wrap this all up, Young Living is absolutely the best decision that I've ever made in my chemical free journey. It has totally changed how we handle everything in our home. Um, and we know that it's going to level the playing field for you um, as you start to kick those toxic ingredients out of your house. So there is not a consequence. Um, I'm sorry, there is a consequence to every single thing that we use, everything we breathe, everything we eat, everything we put on our skin. We may not feel it immediately, but your safety is absolutely worth the swap. So you have to know your home to protect your home. And that starts with careful label reading. So just remember that you matter. You really do. Your family matters. Your friends matter. It's time to start kicking those toxic chemicals out of your life and start living cleaner. So that is Essential Oils 102. That's Thieves. So we thank you all um, so very much for hopping on with us. And if um, you have any additional questions, um, please feel free to um, reach out to one of us or you can um, go to our event page um, or into our Facebook group and just ask your questions there. We're here to help. So um, sorry we ran just a little bit over tonight, but it's a lot of good info. So next Tuesday, um, I'm going to put in a plug real quickly for our next Zoom. Uh, next Tuesday, we're going to be talking all about essential rewards. Um, and that is the box that gives back. So we're going to tell you some hacks, like some ways that you can save and get the most out of your money. Love to do that. And then again, next Thursday, um, we're talking about um, sharing, sharing your oils. Um, and that is the, you know, the side, the side hustle um, in a box. So thank you. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope that you all have a wonderful night. Bye. wants me to stop sharing my screen first. <laughs>